Look, at the end of the day, like again, I'll, that's, it's the kind of stuff that I talked about at, at top is I have to hold on to uh, my dad in his pickup truck came down four o'clock in the morning, picked me up at, at, in, in Miami from Tampa. We lived in a little shitty apartment in Tampa. He drove down in his little pickup truck to, to, to Miami to get me when I was cut from the CFL. I was driving up I-75. I don't know if you guys are from Florida. Any of you guys, if you know, it's I-75. It's like, especially down in Florida, Alligator Alley. I'll never forget it. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. And I thought, well, fuck. The, I, I leave home like you guys left home. I'm ready to tackle the world, get after it, achieve my dreams and goals. Fucking crushed by 22, 23 years old. I'm, now I got to move back in with my mom and dad. I played on great teams, though. Wait a second. This is not supposed to be my future. I'm supposed to be in the NFL right now. I'm supposed to be making a lot of coin and buying my parents shit, buying me shit, taking care of my wife, but it never happened. So I pulled out my wallet. I thought, well, let me see how much money I had. I opened it up. I had a five, a one, and change. I'm not fucking around. And, and I, and, well, at least I rounded up to seven bucks. But I thought, God, ain't this a bitch? I got seven bucks in my pocket. Where the fuck do I go now? What do I do? I can't go back to CFL, because I, or, you know, point comes where you hear that voice, the big run's over. Like, you're done, right? So I heard that voice. So as Coach was saying, man, I hold on to that shit. I'm telling you, I keep my back as if I can this motherfucker. We laugh, we joke, we have a good time. Press is always fun to do. Sometimes you got to make it fun. That's another thing. You got to do your best to make press fun if you can. But my back is still up against this motherfucker. I do not forget it. So Coach was saying, like, you're going to go into Challenging times as a team, you guys are on the come up, you're on the rise. What this also helps me do, and again, it works for me, is at some point, you gotta be fucking tired of not being number one. You have to be, and you gotta fucking play angry, and I play angry. Now, I'm cool and calm with my approach, and when I step out on my field, which is a set, or, you know, like, there's some, and you're always gonna have haters, and haters are like, well, God damn, man, how many movies are you gonna make, or how much shit are you gonna do? Like, you do a lot of shit. I say, yes, it's my ambition. Of course, why not? I could do it, yeah. I love what I do. And not only that, but in what world do we not work every day? It doesn't mean, it's just like you guys in the off season. You gotta work every fucking day. It doesn't end. My back is up against this thing, you know? And I, and I, and I started to play angry by the way, and, and I, still, I still play angry. My last match, Brock Lesnar, transitioned, and I realized if I had to be great at something, I wanted to be great in this world of Hollywood and movie making and producing and entertainment, I had to commit, and like you guys have to commit. Obviously, you commit to something, commit to the goal. So I quietly retired. Two years later, I thought, what the fuck did I do with my career? Because my movies were not doing well. I was written off, I was like, it was around 2006, 2007. I was like, God damn. I left, I pulled a Jim Brown. I left when I was on top, like number one in the wrestling business. And I left, it was a ballsy, gutsy, some call it stupid move, but I had to commit and I had to follow what was in my gut. And at that time, I'll share this with you guys. And Will Smith is my boy. And I sat down at that time with the agency I was with. They said, what do you want to accomplish? I said, I want to accomplish the world. I want the world and I want I want Will Smith's career, but, and I said, and I mean this respectfully because I know he's here at this agency with us, I wanna do it bigger and better. And they looked at me like I had three fucking heads and they were like, mm-hmm, okay. But I still stayed focused and I still had these, still put in the hard work with my two hands and that's it. And that's what it comes down to with you guys too. You know, look, I, I appreciate you guys giving me the time I enjoyed this back and forth, rapping a little bit. But the one thing I do want to leave you with is, as you guys know, there's nothing you can't accomplish. You're going to go on, you're going to become world champions. The key for me, what well, I think one of the keys is, remember where you came from, keep that shit in the front of your mind, and when shit goes bad and it goes sideways, a lot of shit does, you're getting booed out of the fucking building, or you're coming through this injury, or people are you writing you off, oh, you guys ain't gonna fucking make it, you know, any of that shit. You gotta, you gotta keep it in here. You, and it really has to, it should drive you. It should, it works for me, it should drive you. You got all the talent in the world, it's all here. It's all here, everybody's the next best thing. Everybody's the thing, everybody's the best. It's all here.
but for me, and the one thing I want to share with you guys is, <clears throat> and again, I mean this respectfully, is that there's no other team in the world that has this level of hype and cachet and love and sizzle and fucking magic. I'm not saying it because it's because it's magic. Johnson, but I mean that like this team is fucking special. This place is special. Like this, that's fucking special. So I would recommend that you think, remember what was accomplished here in the past, which again, I know you guys do because it's always here. It's always being pumped in your brain. But God damn, I want to do it better. I'd want to do it better. I don't know how that is, because they even said to me, well, how do you do it better than him? This was in 2006. I said, I don't know. But I do believe there's a better way to do it and a different way to do it. Maybe it's through social media, connectivity, global. I don't know. Let me understand the market, I, all that. And here I am, right? And then one day you guys are going to be there too. So guys, thank you.